the guinea pig's second birthday so I'm thinking of just I thought I might just do a few little um, clips of what I what I got them and what I'm doing with them today but first of all I'm just going to clean them out and um, so that they're nice and fresh for their birthday and then later on my friends coming around nothing really to do with the guinea pig's birthday but she is so I'm going to wait to give them their um, birthday presents then so she can see but I'll show you what I got them before then and yeah so I'm just about to clean them out but I did just go and pick them some grass um, from our garden so that they can eat that while they're getting cleaned out because they really really like grass and so I'm just about to do that so this is what I got them for their birthday though sorry for the squeaking um, but I got them this little like curly thing which is just wooden with some dyes and I'll try and bring it into better light but and it is called um, the chew and roll and it's from these are all from pets at home and I'll leave a link in the description box below and to where you can get them in case you're interested then hey stop stop chewing the dog anyway and then I got them this dandelion and marigold wheel from Woodlands which is all natural and sorry pigs stop it's no no chewing no no okay and which is just all natural and it's by the range woodlands and you just hang it up and they like can chew off there and they've had a few treats from that brand before and they've really liked it and i think it's just pets at home's own brand brand but yeah and then finally i got them a little, a little bit of an avalanche and um, i just got them this way to go extra long adventure tunnel which you just pull out and you can bend it into any shape and i got them the guinea pig one and yeah so hopefully they'll really enjoy that because they used to have another tunnel but then it kind of got a bit monkey and also I thought I'd get them a new Now I've just sprinkled all the grass into their little box that I put them in to clean them out and they're still waiting impatiently so they're about to their breakfast this morning I've made them some of their favourite vegetables so they have some rocket, lots of green beans because they're their favourites, some cabbage and then finally lots of um, celery leaves because these are like their favourites so I'm just going to go and give it to them now. They're now back in their cage, which is now my CT. Put that all in the bowl. Go straight for the green beans. I just put their cage back to how it was, so there's loads of hay in the hay rack and on the floor underneath it, and then just some toys, some of their old toys in there for now. Okay, so now we've put in their little tunnel, and they really like it, so that's good. Hey Simba, you like your tunnel? Yes. Do you want to do a demonstration? Do a demonstration. Let's move this ball out of the way. Go on, sis. Oh, <laughs> moving the ball instead. Anyway, so Gus is just over there, by the way. But we haven't put in um, the little twisty thing because I think I might put some vegetables in here later for them to like play with. And then we haven't used this either. Might save that for later. But we're about to bring them into the garden on this. And yeah. So I'll show you them later. Oh, and my friend Charlotte's here again, so she's just saying oh, hi. <laughs> so we've now just brought out the guinea pigs into um, this little crate so that they can play and eat the grass. And they've got their bendy tube in here. And this is Gus right here. And then Simba's just sticking his head out in the grass. And then um, Charlie is just over there. I don't know whether you can see him. Zoom in on him. Yeah, he's just under the trampoline sunbathing. And then they've got this little towel over here so that they can have some shade if they need it. Oh, Simba's now under there. But we're just going to sit out here so it's okay because they won't be out here too long. So don't worry about that. But I think I am just going to get them a water bowl in case they are thirsty. And so now they have a water bowl as well just here. And Gus is in the tube and Simba's under the shade. to give the guinea pigs their tea and so I put they're basically having the same as what they had for breakfast I put some of it in this little bowl but not too much so they have like celery poking through and carrots and beans and cabbage and things just through every odd one and things like that and then they have the rest of it just here which I'm going to put in their bowl and I think I'll save this for tomorrow so they don't have too many things today so 
Can I put this there? In the way thing. Put it upstairs or downstairs? We'll put it downstairs. Careful, Simba. Yes, downstairs. Downstairs. Look. So let's try and get the beans out. And then we shall just put the rest of it in their food bowl. There you go. So I'll probably eat that first and then go on to the bowl, but I think we're just going to move this panel. Well, no, it looks okay. You have seen there for now. Fix the hay rack and then we're just going to give them some more hay and their pellets and then that's all for tonight. And just for a treat, since it's their birthday and I have this carrot here, yeah, I just decided to give it to them because we were going to give it to them when they were in the garden, but they were just enjoying the grass, so I thought I'd just give it to them now. So I'll just put it in the bedroom area that they can find later on. So it is now Sunday and it is their birthday on Thursday and I've given them their dandelion roll thing and they're both enjoying it. So I think I'll just leave the video here and I hope you liked it. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.